on a floor. Neighbors we could get a zoom on the Definitely sure. something we should check. Video is pushing. Try and start at the top and just go down a little bit so we can see all the different okay. zoids. Nice. Are the dark patches something else colonizing, or is it part of the siphonophore? That's a really good question. I'm not sure. They seem to be pretty evenly spaced. Oh, well, I guess yeah, not. Yeah, they do, don't they? Um, I'm not sure if they're different from the other. Or if it's like a special. All right, full wide video. Yeah. I'm not sure. They could be Thank you. Beautiful. Uh, reproductive. Structures. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, nice. That's, that's so weird. Cool. Yeah, they're just trying behind there. instead of down. That's a beautiful shot of those tentacles. Those tentacles are probably packed with nematocysts. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going in and out. <laughs> oh, that's a really long okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can go. see it in the. Uh, yeah. To this guy. Let's do it now. I get enormous. Yeah, siphonophores are um, colonial organisms. They're related to jellyfish, but they're um, what looks like one individual. This whole long chain is actually made up of um, multiple That's individual animals. The um, zoids that we're looking at now are the feeding zoids. So they have these long tentacles hanging down from them that help catch their food. Um, but up at the top of the organism are a series of bells, um, which are individuals that are um, provide the swimming and propulsion for the animal. So they all kind of work together, but it's actually um, not all considered one individual. So are the top These ones, do they grow in proportion to the size of the chain? Like it would take a lot of energy to move the, this whole thing around. It's a great question. Um, I don't know much about the life history of, um, of the siphonophores and how they you know, go about forming these chains. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's a really good question. Or the little hairs hanging off of them. So those are the tentacles that help the siphonophore to feed. So they kind of help increase the surface area of the water that this animal encounters. And they um, can get marine snow, um, those white organic particles that we see in the background, as well as zooplankton, um, to provide the nutrition for the, the whole colony. What are the red tubes? The red tubes, we believe, are reproductive. Um, and I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't know a lot of the details about the life history of these, but. That's a great shot. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. incredible. Let me know if I'm getting too close to zoom carry. And there are all those sort of translucent wow. orbs in the back. Those are That's really good. cool, too. Yeah, so now do there's a lot going on here. Yeah. This is really cool. So do each one of those um, have to wow. then feed each um, themselves? So they all provide nutrition for the whole colony um, because they're somehow getting nutrition up to the swimming bells, which have no way of feeding themselves. That's the best shot of a siphonophore I've seen. This is That's incredible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a siphonophore this close. Trevor, I'm not paying attention to where I am. Really I'm even more August. excited about our great spirit animal now. This blue circle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great, thank you. And that's why we're the siphonophore watch. Why make it the high highlights? Yeah. yeah. That's, That's really what cool. I am entering right now. <laughs> nice. The object on the screen is much smaller than you think. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's really it's hard so to identify gelatinous organisms in gut contents. Um, so things, um, fish have bones. Um, many of the crustaceans, they have their exoskeletons and they have mouth parts and things that are preserved. Um, wow in the guts of things that feed on them. With the gelatinous animals, there's not a lot to mm -hmm. see. So after even just a little bit of digestion, oh. it can be really difficult to make out whether or not um, they make up some of the components of the gut content. So it's, it's hard to say. This one's amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, those long tentacles oh shimmering. Yeah. Really incredible. And I have to give a huge applause here to oh. Carrie oh, and the ROV so team yeah. <laughs> for this amazing job <laughs> and footage. It's just two small ones now. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I wonder <laughs> if they regenerate the swimming guys. I bet they I can. I hope so. Yeah. 
They do the uh, sting. They have nematocysts, like stinging cells. So that definitely oh. provides protection from a lot of animals. But like everything <laughs> um, in nature, there always seems to be something that's evolved its way around the protections of other animals. So there may be some things that can feed on siphonophores. And do you find them at higher uh, levels in the water column? Yeah, what we've been seeing on the dives out here on this expedition is that we do see siphonophores as a whole throughout the water column, but we've zoom. been seeing kind of a transition between different species. So the ones that we've been seeing in the shallower parts of the water tend to be quite a bit smaller. Um, they also seem to be faster moving. They're darting around a lot yeah, more right. than we're these ones. So are all, <coughs> are all the siphonophores that we're seeing kind of the same species? Or I guess they're not really a species, but all the same makeup? Or do they um, vary? Same, uh, species is, is an appropriate term. Um, I, I believe that most, at least most of the ones that we're seeing at this depth are the same. Yeah. But so I understand they're made up uh, of multiple organisms, right? So, mul so multiple I individual animals, but okay. the, they're all the same species, and okay. they're they're um, clones of each other. They have the exact same uh, genetic makeup. Okay, cool. Clones, cool. No, well, Trevor, I <laughs> felt really bad about a cough the other day, but you've relieved me of that burden. <laughs> <laughs> I even hit the switch, too, and I got it on time, but oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice, nice shot. shot. Yeah. And Style points. 